I there I am very much interested and very much inspired to share with you the selfless service rendered to the mankind without any anticipating any reward any name fame or anything in kind or cash that will be the greatest wisdom of a wise man what Vivekananda one of the greatest monk of India spoke about karma yoga and here there is a part of it I want to read for you and let's understand together the meaning and theme of it work for work's sake there are some who are really the salt of the earth in every country and who work for work's sake who do not care for name fame or even for to go to the heaven they work just because good will come of it there are others who do go to the poor and help mankind from still higher motives because they believe in doing good and love good. The motive for name and fame seldom brings immediate results. As a rule, they come to us when we are old and have almost done with our life. If a man works without any selfish motive in view, does he not gain anything else? Yes, he gains the highest. Unselfishness is more pain. Only people not have the patience to practice it. It is more pain from the point of view of health also. Love, truth and selfishness are not merely moral figures of his speech, but they form our highest ideal, because in them lies such a manifestation of power. In the first place, a man who can work for five days or even five minutes without any selfish motive whatsoever, without thinking of future of heaven or punishment or anything of that kind, has in him the capacity to become a powerful moral giant. It is hard to do it, but in the heart of our hearts we know its value and the good it brings. It is the greatest manifestations of power. This Tremendous restraint, the self-restraint, is a manifestation of greater power than all the outgoing actions, beloved friends. That is really the lessons we have to learn. Also, Karma Yoga, Lord Krishna said, Karma Neva Dikaraste Mafale Sukadachano Ma Karmfal Hetubhu Mate Sangosta Karmani. Our noble way should be to work sincerely without any selfish motive. Whatever is to come, it will definitely come and it will come more extravagantly and more abundantly. But we should not be attached for the fruit of the action. Rather, we should love what we are doing. That immense love, obsession and passion for being one of the greatest worker can make our life very meaningful and purposeful. And there is immense joy and pleasure. So let's meditate upon this intensely. Let's have a burning desire that we should practice it and make it a way of life to work selflessly without any return, without any anticipation, but be indulged in enjoying the work you do. The modern science has also proved it. Those people who love something, they really discover, invents, and give great things to the world. Darwin loved nature and he was so much curious that he gave us that kind of philosophy which could not be known to mankind, the lady <coughs> and so on and so forth. Steve Jobs loved what he did and we got so many great inventions, discoveries. Henry Ford loved and he gave us one of the greatest self-propelled automobiles who built the entire universe. Andrew Carnegie loved learning and making and helping mankind, the philanthropic actions become greatest in industrialist, philanthropist, entrepreneur. Love what you do. Love what you do. And then you will become only great. But don't work just for some petty and selfish motive that will not make you great at all. May God bless you. Thank you very much. This beard you've been inspired you to become a better person in life.